Hey, what's up everyone? Kobaner4546 here. Today, continuing my Let's Play on Sonic 06 for the Sony PS3. So last time we did Kingdom Valley with Silver and had to go through a crap load of loading screens. And it was just a boring experience overall. But anyway, today, we are continuing on and I have a very special guest. So, why don't you all introduce yourself? Why don't you introduce yourself? <laughs> hey guys! Post pubescent PK Sparks is back again to add some maturity to this horrible let's play. All right. Now, you see how Sonic is crying on the ground? A man There's would not cry. This. He would stand up, become a knight of the wind, and destroy. If we Wait, that's a different game. Earlier point, <laughs> that's Sonic in the Black Knight. <laughs> hey guys, I'm happy to be back. I'm not happy to be watching Sonic 06, but I'm happy to be in Kobe's company, so there you go. Yeah, I'm glad to have you here, PK. Alright, so, what's going on? Sonic's legs are, like, tall. Yeah, they are pulling out Chaos Emeralds from their buttholes and going to use the power I, to... I thought Sonic Silver just, like, laid the egg. I believe he just, like, pulled it out of, like, what? What just happened? Yeah. How it... ironic is that, that that they both have Chaos Emeralds matching their color? What is this, some sort of fashion sense now? Oh wow, well, I never even did realize it. Besides, you got somewhere to go, right? But yeah, so basically Sonic's gonna go save the world now and get Princess Elise back. But why is he giving up the castle? Because he doesn't think he'll need it, he's giving it to Silver, I think, so... But Silver's actually doesn't even trust Sonic, so he's gonna go and do his own thing, because he knows that Sonic's gonna lose or something i don't know this just game's saying, story is just so weird at times just saying i want blaze in her own 3d game i freaking love her she's such an amazing character yeah blaze actually she is the best character in this game um did i tell you that or actually no i actually was doing that with the uh, sully palms um you haven't been in this Let's Play for quite a while. It's been since Shadow yeah, Story. The, la the last time I, I saw you were facing Silver with Shadow, you we died like 10,000 times, and I just thought it was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a while. So, But yeah, Blaze is the best character in the game because she is the fastest. Um, isn't always wait, 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 left wait, wait, of wait, 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 wait. wait, you can play with her? Well, yeah. Let's hurry. I said Hell yeah! Things. I want to see that! Yeah, I th I'm not sure if you can in this stage or not, but um, she is playable in the game, and and my and uh, she's actually my favorite character to play as in the game. Dude, in Sonic Rush and Sonic Rush Adventure, I played with her all the time. I thought playing with her was so much better than playing with Sonic. I don't know why. Maybe it's just her play style, because Sonic definitely has more speed, but Blaze's fighting style and play style was just... She needs her own game. Yeah, um... That's what I liked about uh, Blaze. She was slower to where, um, you know, Sonic could sometimes in some levels go through the stages faster than her. But she had um, she had better abilities to go to um, higher routes, which could allow her to make up for her yes. speed, her lost speed. I mean, her oh, her wait, what? Oh, <laughs> I just realized I have no rings. Okay. What was that? Were you, were you like just air humping or something? What, what was that? I am, uh, what is it? I, I'm doing the hover. Silver, in case you didn't know, actually has a hovering ability. It, oh, I didn't know. I knew he had his telekinesis, but I didn't know he could, like, actually... Eh. Well, yeah, actually, it makes sense now, because Sign Generations, when you face him, he hovers. Yeah. Yeah. So, but this is the final stage in Silver Story, actually, so we are very, You're very... almost done? Yes, I am! I know, right? Yes! I am yes! almost done with this LP. I am so... So happy. Finally almost finished with this. Because this LP has been going on since February. It's been a long one. One of my longest ones. It just looks so funny when Silver hovers. He's like his whole body is just like <laughs> Yeah, I'm uh I'm like doing a spam move with it. I'm trying to figure out how to get up there though, that's a thing. So what is the way you're doing it helping you prolong the hovering? What? Like, when you turn it on and off, does, does that, like, pull on the hovering or something? Uh, I have no idea. Like, what do you mean by that? Darn it. Like, I, I see you, like, flickering it on and off. Does that, like, make it so you stay higher and longer? It helps you stay in the air much longer than, uh, you know, usual. So, like, it can help you get more range. Because if I just hold it like this, I don't get as much range. 
Oh, uh, okay, so... Okay, that's helpful. But you do lose some of, uh... What is it? You do go down, actually. Like, you lose some of your height when you do do that in that way. But I didn't really need it at the time. Like, all the height. So, please don't fall off. Okay, good deal. Alright, I'm trying to actually get up there so I won't lose a life or anything like that. But... Ah! You're like a cat, usually. You're gonna die. Like yeah. This. Yeah, I think I'm gonna die. I think I'm just gonna have to set it, so... I don't even know where I'm supposed to be going here, to be honest. Yep, I died. <laughs> it was just like, nope, nope, you touching me, get out of here. <laughs> it's, it's just like, I have no, like, I don't know, this this stage right here, it's kind of hard to actually tell where I need to be going right now. Let me see. Because, as you know, this is my first playthrough of this game, actually, like, actually beating it fully, so I don't exactly... Nowhere. I still, I, don't, I still say I don't know how you can even manage to say, "Hey, I'm going to play this game." You, ugh, God. <laughs> I mean, I, I told you plenty of times before my experience with this game, and I, I've never even passed the first stage of Sonic. I'm just like, what? yeah, I like, I, I can't believe I've actually LP'd this game this entire time because you know I absolutely cannot stand this game. But uh, you know, just thinking about it, it was like. What really made me decide to just go on and do it was uh, realizing that, um, you know, at the end, like, at least I could finally actually beat my least favorite Sonic game I've ever played. And then also, um, you know, I do have something special planned for the end after I do beat this Let's Play, as you know. Ooh, do tell. Wait, you don't remember? I've told you, like, several times. Um... No, I don't remember. <laughs> well, I'm not going to spoil it for my viewers, but uh, it's going to be pretty fun. Dang it! Sorry, guys, I was trying to help you out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's going to be pretty funny, so I'm looking forward to it, actually. Okay, so I have no idea where we're going here. This is like, I'm getting so lost around here. Can you pick up one of them boulders that you're walking on? Uh, no, you cannot, actually. I think we're supposed to be... See right there? I can't do anything right there. I think we're supposed to be going over that way, but I don't know even even know how to get over there. Let's think. Oh, look right here. Phallic penises! Oh, They're there back. we go. Yep, they are back. They are oh, back God. to haunt us. Oh, yeah, that was another thing we did last time we played. You fought that thing, and that was, that was very funny. <laughs> like, okay, all right, I see you, Silver. You're just like, no, I'm going to throw it back at you. Yeah. You can t you can take your spiky balls and hit your own self in the face with them. Yeah. <laughs> spiky balls. Take these dudes. Ah, one th one, st one thing that's really is annoying about this stage is that this stage likes to pull a lot of bull crap on you to where you know you'll just get hit by invisible meteorites and they just. Um. No offense, but doesn't that happen in every stage in this game? Uh, almost every stage. <laughs> yeah, like, it always, it's always pulling bullcrap on me anyway, so. I mean, I don't know why I am surprised, to be honest. <laughs> well, at, at least on the plus side, you have a score of 2310. It's better than 2300. I have 2510 now, actually. Get your facts well, straight. <laughs> well, excuse me for your laptop lag. Actually, it's the HDPVR lagging because, uh... Nope, you. Mine's fine. No, it's my HD... <laughs> my HDPVR. Yeah, with the HDPVR, in case you're wondering, with the screen share, um... Basically, the... It lags on the computer, like, two seconds behind what it actually is from what I'm playing, for some reason, so... It's kind of weird. Yeah, so... So even though I see it smoothly, it still happens two seconds after... It, like, I see it two, two seconds after you guys. Yeah, it, yeah, it's like a two-second delay. It's kind of it's kind of weird. But that has something to do with the recording format. Um, yeah, it's just done so that way it records and, like, really smooth, so it's worth it. Yeah. yeah. But speaking of HD PVRs, how have you been enjoying your HD PVR? Oh, my God, it's so lovely. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? I am so happy. My sunshine videos, my... I've never, I mean, even though I knew Sunshine was a beautiful game, playing it in HD is, oh my, it's mind-blowing. I am so happy. I, I even watch my own videos in HD now. Usually I just watch it in 320 and in 360p. No, I will sit there and let it load for about 20 minutes just so I can watch it in 720p. Yeah, yes. I've been watching, uh, what is it? I've been watching, um, 
your Let's Play of it, and it looks so much better now with your HD PVR. Like, it's lovely. And with this PVR, I have so much thing. I'm, I'm gonna be bringing so many things to my own channel. I can't wait to see how Donkey Kong 64 looks in it. Yeah, like now I finally don't have to watch your Let's Plays with your Potato 3000. <laughs> I've been wondering, why did you, where'd you come up with that name from? The Potato 3000? Sully. <laughs> of course. Of course. Sully does everything. Yes. Wait a minute, wasn't this the exact same stage I last commented, commentated with you on? Yeah, I know, right? Which, except there was Sylph Shadow? Yeah, it is actually. Wow, it's kind of like prosthetic or something. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's uh it's basically the same stage, but Silver's O is just so long. Like this is Silver's longest stage actually, which is fitting because it is his um his yeah, final stage. stage. But it gets yeah, this is the very... same part I said with like Elder Volcano. Yeah, it does actually, but it just gets very, very, very repetitive. That's the main problem with Silver's gameplay since you've never played it. I'll just let you know. It gets it's a it's a good concept, the idea of it. That's the like real highlight of Silver's gameplay, like you know, the tele like the psychokinesis powers and uh, you know, how he can control things with his mind. But um you know, they just didn't take the time to actually polish it or take full advantage of uh, it. I just gotta ask, did you just use an enemy as a meat shield? <laughs> yeah, you can um you can actually take tough. control of enemies. It's kind of funny. That's freaking awesome. Gears of War right there. Go Silver. Yeah, that's the cool thing about it, though. Like, um, you know, Silver can take control of enemies and stuff if you get the right uh, power-ups. But it's just that, um, you know, <laughs> it, it gets... I know, it looks really funny. But um, it just gets very, very repetitive. It's just basically the same whole process all over the place. Because Silver is a slow character. So he doesn't have the speed. He doesn't have speed sections or anything like that. So all they can do... I know, right? So all he can do is just make up for it with combat. And look here, he has the power to grab penises. Those nasty phallic penises. Wow. I know, right? What? Wait, what? Who said, who said that? That's so wrong. <laughs> that, that, that was bad. That was really bad. <laughs> yes, it was. <laughs> hey, watch Mori. You wouldn't, you wouldn't doubt that. But yeah, Ooh. um... That's, I mean, you know, Silver's gameplay would have been good if they actually had taken the time to make it better, not as glitchy, and if he could run faster, I think it would be better. And I would actually love to see him have his own game. Like, or be in a game, actually, as a playable character. Uh, I'm not character. so sure about that. Well, I mean, same, same thing for, like, I just want to, like, same how I just want Shadow featured. I just want Silver featured in the game. I want Blaze to have, like, be in the game. But at the same time, I don't, if they had their own game, unless it was just like, okay, just like Shadow the Hedgehog was just for background. Yeah. I, I don't think I'd be up for um, a Silver the Hedgehog game, you know? Yeah, I, that's why I said, actually, I changed it. I was like, I actually probably wouldn't want him to be have his own game. I just want him to be playable in a game. And uh, I think what he should, like, like basically with his gameplay, I think he should have speed, like as we saw in Sonic Generations for the 360, to where he was Kobe, actually... Kobe, I, hate to, I hate to interrupt you, but guess what? What? We are having internet connection troubles. Oh, wow, really? All right, wait just a second. Let me... Yeah. Grab this <laughs> box right here. Sorry about that, everyone. Take this dude out right here, quick. All right, be right back. All right, what's going on? Oh, the call. Okay, I'm gonna end it really quick. All right. All right. All right, you there? Yeah. All right, but that was good. We all, we lasted about twenty minutes that time. Yeah, actually, it's like fifteen minutes, but still, that worked really well, actually. All right, let's go back. Yeah, and now it sounds really clear. All right, then, sweet. You see it? Yes. All right. Okay, we are back, everyone. Sorry about that. Yeah, you guys know what happened. Blame my internet. It freaking sucks. I'm going to invest in oh, some no. better. In what? I missed the one up right there. You don't know how much you need one ups I, in this game. But God, I thought you just someone just like slit your throat. Was like, what was that? <laughs> I just heard. I just heard. 
<laughs> Toby? Toby! Toby! Oh no! <laughs> yeah, I can. A lot of people think my reactions are kind of funny. Dude, but... I, I watched your Galaxy episode before we started recording. I I watched it twice, literally, because it was just so darn funny. <laughs> I died. I, I I can't even pick anything out. I was just I died. What in the? Oh my gosh! What the heck was that? Um, apparently that was you dying. Like, for some reason, my, I wouldn't even touch the spring when I actually did touch it. Like, it wouldn't register. You're not going to get in my way, Iblis. Is it Iblis or Iblis? It's Iblis. Iblis, okay. Yeah. Grab the one up. Oh, it's not there. Yeah, see right here, there are all these meteorites all over the place. Well, um, like this falling lava rock. And basically, you know, you just... Ah! See there? It just... It just comes upon you all of a sudden. You don't even see it. And they can be yes. it. Because of the games yes, like... she said. <laughs> Darn it. See there? You really need one-ups for this stage. Because this game just wants to screw you over all... All the time. <laughs> I like how you died twice and still was still saying, You're not going to get in my way! I know. What a Dice. failure. Look at him though. He's so darn slow. I, exactly. That's what I hate about him. That's why I can't stand his game. I, I mean, at least be fast while you're in the air, you know? Like, let let that be his thing. Like, on the ground, he sucks, but when he's flying, he's like the top dog. <laughs> at least do that. Yeah, but instead, they didn't. Instead, they're just like, nope, he's going to suck. Yeah. I'm just going to run around in a circle so I don't get hit by an invisible meteorite or falling rock, so... Getting dizzy there, Silver? Ah, darn it. Okay. They need to make a character called Gold. Go, go. And he could be a Pokemon trainer. It's funny yeah, how a lot that. of the uh, characters are actually, like, a lot of the characters have something to do with, like, you know, environmental powers or, like, colors or darkness or something like that. It's kind of weird. That's always something I've noticed about them. I think the only character who really doesn't is, uh, let me think, there's one character, I can't recall who it is. Oh, Amy. And Amy's kind of just like a slower Sonic. Yeah. She's like, slower, but more, as a matter of fact, I would probably compare Amy gameplay to, um, Werehog. To the, the Werehog. <laughs> yeah, she is kind of slower. I would, because she's slower and she's more about, um, combat and all that. Yeah. I actually did like playing Amy, though, and, uh, what game was it? Uh, Sonic Advance. That was actually pretty fun to play with her. I, I like how Amy works. I, I actually enjoy Amy's story in Sonic Adventure. Oh, I didn't like it that much. If I... Yeah, she has the best theme song. Wait, well, no! What? Yes! Oh, my <laughs> gosh. <laughs> no. There's no place to hide. Sweet, sweet, yo, so sweet. Oh my God! What oh song? my gosh! When, what? when I beat, when I beat her story, and I, like I said, I like her story. When she, when you face off against that, uh, what was it? Zeta, I think it was Zeta. You face at the end. I, uh, it was like that robot or something that was invincible. Like, oh wait, yeah, Zeta is who you face with um, Gamma. Yeah. But um, you, you face that big green robot. It was the same platform, just but anyway. Um, after you did that. Didn't, didn't they die at the end, anyway? Uh, the robot, or what? I hope I'm not giving any spoilers to people who haven't played Sonic Adventure. I've played it before, I just never got to beat the game. What?! Nope. The Great Kubana Mine, whose icon is Sonic, never beat Sonic Adventure? Mostly because of that darn Big the Cat. He was the only no, reason why. No, no. crap. Hey, Kobe's Cabana Mike. <laughs> Leave a comment below if you think he should um, do an LP of Sonic Adventure and beat it. I, I probably won't do that, actually. I cannot stand Big the Cat's gameplay. In fact, I think I probably hate Big the Cat's gameplay more than any gameplay in this game. Oh, yeah, it was tedious, but there's only like six stages of it, you know? I could never even catch Frog in one stage. I'd play for three hours in that game, and it was just so <laughs> terrible. <laughs> I could well, never I, be. You know what you could do? You know what you could do? What? Do it off screen. Just like, don't even show the gameplay or whatever. Just do it. And then say, alright, I did it. You guys know how bad it is. I'm not going to show it. <laughs> but just do it. 
Yeah, I don't know about that. What the heck? That ball just appeared out of nowhere. Because the game knows how much you like balls in your face. Aha. Uh -huh. Very funny. <laughs> but anyway, but see, you, so you, that means you've never faced perfect chaos. No, I have not, actually. You've never had the experience of hearing... Uh, what was that? Live and Learn. What was the name? Open of Your Heart? Open actually, no, I have not. I love that tune. It's one of my favorite tunes. Kobe. Oh my god. Kobe. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in you right now. I would have beaten the game if they if Sega hadn't added Big the Cat in it. In fact, Azuka even admits he regrets putting that darn cat in the game. Not big is cool. Big is stupid. He needs to go lose some weight and run. He can't lose weight. He's big. As in bone, not fat, like Cartman. No, he's fat. <laughs> and in fact, he should... You know how, like, in some TV shows and stuff like that, they have characters to where they call, like, the t skinny characters big? He should be one of those characters. He should be a skinny have cat. It, have, his, have his name be Tiny. <laughs> yeah. Something <laughs> like that. Like, they made oh, it backwards. <laughs> Should have him named Tiny and have him as a big fat cat, and then if he's big, have him as a skinny cat. Oh, uh, they need to bring back a few other characters. I want to see more SBO games, more Team Chaotix. When I played them in Sonic and Heroes, I'm just like new favorite characters. Yeah, I like Espio. But you know, there's actually a mod in uh, what is it, Sonic Generations? If you get the PC version, um, and if your computer can handle it, I don't know um, if yours can or not. But, uh... Not graphically. Yeah, it, it, like, almost any computer can handle it graphically. It's just mostly about the frame rate. But, um... Yeah, that game, you can actually get an SBO mod to where you can replace Sonic with SBO. And it's real. it looks really, really cool, actually. Oh, I gotta see that. Is there a YouTube video of it? Yeah, there actually is. I can uh, send you a link to it sometime. I actually like the video on my channel. Some people probably watched it. So I am going to check that out. Yeah, because it looks really awesome, actually. It's like you're playing with Espio, and he actually has some abilities I think um, Sonic doesn't even have. Like, they managed to somehow do that. So it's kind of cool. Oh snap. Sonic Generations, if they would have just made this that way, like, afterwards, you could have played with anybody, like, all, the, all those characters you had, that each had their own gameplay, then it would have been the perfect Sonic game. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I liked the game. I liked it a lot. But, um, you know, you still can play the other characters in uh, different missions and stuff, or call upon them to help you. I kind of found that just a safe way to play it. But, um, you know, I think I, yeah. I would have liked for the other characters to have gameplay themselves, but... Yeah, like, they, 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 I don't think they really wanted to take a big chance with a game that they wanted to help rejuvenate the series. So that was a good, that was a good move on them. I'm not going to say they bash it. But at the same time, now that they know how much of a um, success generation it was... Even though there's still critics, because people just want to... They need something to hate on. Yeah, exactly. They just need something to hate on. But it was... I don't care. It was a great game. Um. So, Sega, if, if any chance you're watching this, make uh, make Sign of Generations 2 and make other characters playable. And we'll love you. <laughs> yeah, I think um, if Sega had uh, another game, like, uh, you know, the Sonic Adventure series with 3D platforming and stuff, it would be really awesome, actually. So right here in this stage, though, there is this ginormous ball that shoots out, uh, like, uh... Um, Looks like an egg. Is that an impregnated egg? I have no idea what it is, but it is very disturbing. Is it going to, is it going to hatch like a giant phallic penis? It basically shoots out, like, a uh, rays of fire or something to where, um, if you're not behind this wall, you're gonna get hit and you'll get knocked off, basically. And you die. You know what that, you know what that reminds me of? What? That, uh, remember that stage in Kid Icarus Uprising where you had to face the it was in, in the in the Aurum Hive after you took down um, Pyron, you had to take down the egg, whatever. It was like on the grind rails. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. The uh, like, well, actually, that was before you faced Pyron, but oh, um, was it? Yeah, basically, but yeah, it's like the um, Aurum Core or something like that. Yeah, then, uh, that's exactly what this mom. Like, all you need is grind rails, and it could have been the same thing. Yep. Actually, it could have been a Shadow Boss. Grind rails, guns, or whatnot. Yeah. But the funny thing is, in case you didn't know, I just found out in the last part, is that Silver is actually not able to grind on rails. What? I know, right? It's totally... What kind of bull hunky is that? It's totally bogus. 
is totally bogus. And the funny thing is that I just found out in the video, but Silver can actually grind in the multiplayer of the game. Uh, I g Wait, this game has multiplayer? Yeah, it does. It actually has online multiplayer, I think. What? Doing what? Basically just racing through stages. I had no idea! Yeah, um, I'm actually most likely may actually do some videos with uh, Michael 8414 because uh, he has a PS3 and you don't because you're a Xbox biased. Xbox 360, baby. You are a biased fanboy. I'm not biased. I want a PlayStation 3, but I like Xbox 360. But I, I prefer the PlayStation 3 more mostly because, uh, what is it? You get the, wait, where's the goal ring? Is it over this way? We're supposed to be able to go to the goal ring right now, I think. Oh, it glitched you out. Dang! Oh, oh there's the goal ring. ring. Okay, yay! We beat it! Woo! Only took 30 minutes! Yay! <laughs> 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 this is the best video ever. Oh, uh, it's like, finally, we're almost done with this. There is, though, actually, in case you didn't know, one more story after this. Oh, yeah, last story, obviously. Yeah, but it takes, like... It shouldn't take that long to beat anyway. It should only take like 15 Actually, minutes to beat. I want to see what Super Silver looks like. I have not seen... Um, you haven't seen I, Super Silver before? I have never seen Super Silver. All His spikes just turn upwards and they're just longer and he's like shinier. I can't, no, that's bull crap. Like it, I mean, because when, cause when Shadow turns Super, he becomes Silver. And he's like silver and red and he just looks all bad. It's funny right? because in the later games he's actually become gold and kind of. He's just basically on, Sonic with least, red stripes on him. But I remember in Sonic Adventure 2 Battle, they have a close-up and he's silver. It's kind of weird. How come Blaze and Silver are friends? I have no idea actually. It's kind of weird because she's supposed to be from an alternate dimension. Oh, my phone's going off. Crap. So Crap, he shut up phone. Shut up! <laughs> well, way to ruin this intro, I was just about to say. And here we are going against the final boss in Silver Story, Iblis. Whoa! It's like a giant period monster. I know. He looks freaking... He looks really, really intimidating. But Okay, uh, wait, wait. I, just, I gotta ask you. Did it just do a loading screen for a boss intro and now it's loading again? Yes. It actually did. This game is full of loading screens. In case you didn't know in the last part, I was recording for an hour, and probably 30 minutes of it is actually not loading screens. It's that ridiculous. So basically right here, you just fling balls at his face because he loves balls, and, you know, that's the best way to always take out enemies. So, <laughs> see right there? Take that in the face, and there we go. Knock out some of his health. He's just like, these balls aren't big enough. Exactly. Um, they're they're very weak. You gotta uh, get a good amount of them. <laughs> I'm used to bigger balls. Uh, <laughs> I, I I expect bigger fall balls in my face to actually do an effect, not these tiny ones. <laughs> there we go. The, oh wow! Ah, <laughs> uh, turned it around on you. You suck. Oh, he's getting closer. He's getting closer. And it was like oh some... snap! He said, your balls are really tiny up close. So right here, he's going to send these, uh, like, fire rays right here, these um, shock waves. Basically, you have to jump or so like, under them or stand like, under like, them. Okay, that's cool. Yeah, it's kind of interesting. It kind of changes it from the original boss, but basically this is almost exactly the same as the first boss fight. It's extremely easy. Oh, that's disappointing, actually. Yeah, it, it's it's actually one of the easiest boss fights, like final boss fights in the game. He's just like, look at my crotch. Yeah. Now we actually it's... have to jump onto his head right here, and uh, basically do the psychokinesis powers, and that you know is too much for him to handle, and he lets go of the foothold. So. Wait, what did you do? Just like put psychic power into his brain and blow him up? Yeah, something like that. It was kind of weird. But it worked, basically. And it's no, I mean, I, I, I can understand Nintendo logic, but come on, Sonic. Well, that, Silver has, the, Silver no has the power to control things with well, his you're mind. You're not Nintendo yet. Like, Silver has power to control things with his mind, so like, if he does that power, it could 
it could be, he could probably do almost anything, which is why I don't understand why he just doesn't, like, you know, do something like um, send a spear into this dude's brain and just end him. So Silver's like energy, energy bending his mind when he does that. Yeah, like, oh, look right here. He's going to send his biggest attack ever. It's going to be a ginormous ball. And uh, the funny thing is that you can actually grab it. Look, what? Take my hepatitis ball. What in the world just happened right there? I was doing my psych psychic powers and... Or psychokinesis powers and it did not work right there. Wait, where's Blaze? Yeah, Blaze keeps dying. Because she's what? an AI. What? No! Her AI is no. stupid. <laughs> this whole game's what? AI is stupid. Okay, I think he's going to come up close and then we can smash him on his head again. His face actually isn't so terrifying. It really it's really isn't. stupid. <laughs> is oh my gosh! What? Wait, did we just die? I think we just did. Yeah, we just died. That is... Wow. Really? Who's that? I have no idea. I was cheating. But if he can do that, why don't he just do it from the beginning? I have no idea. Be a good boss. That was weird, though, because I didn't know that happened, actually. Like, I thought it took, like, five or ten more hits to actually knock out the foothold, but... He actually managed to do it in a couple. Oh, so, so, so maybe that's, like, a little timer you have. Uh, what is? Like, like if he hits it three times, you're dead, or something like that? Yeah, maybe? and then also, it could have possibly been because that ball, to where I was trying to grab the ball, it wouldn't work for some reason. So I think that could also be a reason why it didn't work at the time, so... Understandable. Yeah. Whoopsie. Jumped at the wrong time. But yeah, this boss, you know, just wait for balls to come to you or dodge these shockwaves. No, he's and... praying. He's like, I'm gonna just pray and send out fire waves for my penis. <laughs> I'm playing with my fire hose. <laughs> oh my god. I, I don't get this boss. He's like, he's not intimidating, really. Well, he looks intimidating, but he's very, very easy to beat. That's the that's the funny thing about it. It's a final boss, like for Silver's story, and he's very easy to beat. Blaze, let's finish this. She's nowhere to be found. I know. Silver is forever alone. Yeah, but that's because no one likes Silver. Exactly. I mean, what, wasn't he featured in Generations? Yeah, he was. Duh, let's talk yeah. about it. <laughs> you know one thing that's really funny, though? You know, Silver is extremely slow in this game, but did you know in the beta version, he's so much faster? Yeah, probably. You, one thing I've noticed Sega's been doing with the Sonic series is... Um, oh, my gosh. Trying to, trying to give each character their own gameplay style, you know? That's why... Uh, Shadow, he's getting a lot more vehicles and gunplay and all that. Well, not um, anymore. He's hardly playable. Yeah. But you know, when he is, he's all about game, like, violent. Like, what's the word I'm looking for? More violent gameplay. Yeah, he has... Uh, the mature He has more uh, emphasis on combat over Sonic, which makes sense, because he has chaos yeah. powers and everything that Sonic doesn't have. Like Chaos and Black. I mean, she, Shadow shows all the time he doesn't have to fight hand to hand. Sonic, he doesn't really do like a punching and kicking and whatnot. Yeah. He's more just about, about the speed. So there you go. Um, then you have Amy, who I, I don't really know how to define Amy's gameplay, but she definitely has her own unique style, you know? Yeah. She hasn't um, been playable, though, for a long time. I want to play as Creep. Creep? You can actually play her in Sonic Advance uh, 2, I believe. And Sonic Advance Dude, 3. Dude, Sonic, um, Sonic Riders, and Sonic Riders Zero Gravity, that's one of my favorite, that's one of my characters. I use Shadow as my speed character, Cream as my flying character, and my power character varies. In the first one, it was Knuckles. In um, Zero Gravity, it was, um, I think it was Billy Hatcher. Oh, wait, he's in, he's in Zero Gravity? Yes. I didn't know that. No! Yeah, no! Yeah. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, no, don't. Die. Thank you. <laughs> that was so it was cool. I, I and um, 
It was I I in the first one and Billy Hatcher in the second one. Oh well, um, I also know that uh, uh, who? What other character was in uh, Sonic Riders? Um, Knights. Knights. Knights was in, was in Sonic. Uh, Sonic Riders. I always loved playing with Knights. He was really fast in the game, actually. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um. Well, there's like a few guest characters. Oh, um, that girl, um, from Space Alpha Five or something like that. Yeah. She was in the second one. Okay, here we go. The, um... There we go. We flung the ball at him, and it's gonna knock him out instantly. Nice. Awesome. We finally beat him. Yay! Little Miss Simo, we did it. <laughs> now, what's the... Door the ex- and look at I- that. I'm just waiting for it to go. The hell. And he wastes no time doing it. <laughs> oh man! Finally, finally. Finally beat Silver Sword. So Suck what, my balls, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Had to do that one last time for Silver's victory song. He looks so prissy floating in the air like that. What is that? I, he actually, you know something? Whenever I see that pose, he looks like Knight. Yeah, you know what? Maybe they did that on purpose because this game is already horrible enough. Maybe they just said, screw it, we're just going to plagiarize whatever other characters. <laughs> You, wait, I would not, you don't not like knights? I like knights. I'm saying they they just probably just plagiarized um, him him for silver, you know? Yeah. Cause they, they do play similar. Silver episode is now available in theater room. Uh, you know, I'm not going to save it just yet. Uh, well, actually, you know, it may be the best time to actually do it because I don't think you have the option to save after the game ends. So might as well just go on and save. And I tested well, everything gotta, on Camtasia, so it should be good. Save completed. Yeah, there you go. I love Knights, though. That's actually one game I have. Whoa, CGI cutscene! I know, yeah. finally! It's like the first and final cutscenes are CGI. It looks so gorgeous. It's, it's like, if the rest of the game looked like this, it would absolutely be awesome. Just to look at it. I'm sorry, I'm really watching the cutscene. I've never seen this. Yeah. Oh! Oh! Take my power, giant ball! <laughs> No, he's basically trying to absorb Iblis so that. Come on, look at how he's holding. I was just like, I'll take Iblis. Don't worry, my soul is already a lit with flames. Doesn't Blaze need to be handling the soul emeralds or something? Well, that's the thing. There are no such thing as soul emeralds in this game. It's weird. Come on, it's so weird. Use your chaos control. But yeah, basically. I want to play Sonic and Crash Adventure. Wait, wait, what's going on with Blaze? She's gonna absorb Iblis, which is how she gets the ability to have, like, the flames. Oh, wait, so is this like a prequel to Sonic Rush's Vent? No, wait, no, because Sonic, this whole game doesn't count. That's, a, so, that's the thing. It, it doesn't make sense. I don't get it. Like, it, none of this is supposed to happen, but she was in the, she's getting sent back to another alternate dimension. Now, just right now, you're about to see. She's about to. It, I don't know. Somehow, it's still that it, it still managed to stay that way because she's in an alternate dimension in Sonic Rush, and she didn't know who Sonic was in this game. So it's got to be a prequel. But I, I don't know. There's so many. There's so much. Uh, there's so much wrong with this story. This logic is just so broken. I know. Even I though mean, I can, uh, like I said, I'm I'm used to Nintendo logic, but this just makes no this sense. This takes the cake. <laughs> I mean, if this game never mattered, then Silver should not even be in this in the um Sonic universe after this game. Exactly. Yeah. But nevertheless, Blaze maybe because Blaze because Sonic ends up like they, they have their own little story, so that's something different. Yeah. Blaze should be able to um be here. And why is Blaze and Silver friends? How do they know each other? Yeah, I have no idea. But, um... Oh, I, I am... Uh, <laughs> but that was a pretty sad cutscene, though. You know, to just kind of see Blaze being gone. It's like, she was the only good character in the game, and now she gave herself up. I, I would have preferred Silver to have gone. What? 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 
Silver doesn't have credits? That's not. Wait, what? Okay, wait a second. Oh, that's silver. Silver... Silver doesn't give credits. This is... Wait a second. I was almost positive Silver had credits. I didn't have... Wait, what? It's the Soliana's old castle. I was just about Maybe to... Maybe he didn't beat it yet. I was just about to give my opinions right now. And, well, it said 100% on the save file. I was just about to give my opinions on... What? Wait, what? Huh? What is going on here? Fantastic Fridays? <laughs> I don't know, that's weird. What? Are you like back at the beginning? I have no idea what just happened right now. This is weird. Okay, I... Let me see right here. I just... I just beat the game. There were no credits. And... So it says 100% right there. So I beat so the game. So shouldn't you got last story? Yeah, I beat the story. Oh, oh, wait. I just remembered. I'm playing this on my other save file. To where I have to rebeat Sonic's story. So that's what I'm going to have to be doing on my own time for a bit. <laughs> <That's> <laughs> I know, just that's lovely, right? Just, just absolutely fantastic. But it's actually not that bad. It kind of... You know, if I if I were gonna play any of this game, I would probably play Sonic Story the most. So at least I have some experience on how to beat Sonic Story. So oh, it shouldn't be that bad. But uh, you know, I mean, I'm gonna have to play through it again, which is no fun. But um, anyway, that basically concludes all of Silver's story. And uh, I want to thank you all for watching this video for however long it was. I don't know how long it's gonna be after I finish editing some of it a bit, but uh, thank you all for watching, and thank you all for sticking around with this LP, and thank you PK for recording this final part of Silver Story with me. No problem, I darn near begged you to be in this video. <laughs> <laughs> I'm happy to be back. Well, Jeez, I was gonna ask you myself, because I was like, oh my gosh, I can't handle this game. Like, it gets so boring. Not having, like... And that's why you need that sexy hot. <laughs> Yeah, make sure to go check out PK's channel to where now he finally has his videos with his HD PVR and it looks absolutely amazing. So definitely check it out. But uh, yeah, thank you all for watching. See you all. Have a good day. See you guys next time.